करेंगे सब्सक्राइब के साथ बेल आइकन को दबाइए और भी सारा टाइम की सारी नोटिफिकेशन पाइए थैंक यू वेरी मच कमिंग ओवर इन दिस सडन अनएक्सपेक्टेड रेम्स आई हैव कम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन अ फ्यू थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग द यस बैंक मैटर some of the issues which uh, i would like to elaborate much before of course we get a picture uh, is it's not that the yes bank matter has come up just yesterday or today i'd like to uh, i'd like to place it on record that since 2017 the reserve bank has been continuously closely monitoring and i can speak for may 2019 onwards where i have been directly involved in also closely working together with the reserve bank on this matter so let me assure people that the government has together with the reserve bank continuously monitoring this matter and also i'm sure the regulator rbi will be talking uh, on many things which are specific to him as a regulator but when i say that we have been together with rbi closely monitoring the major milestones are something which all of you all probably already know that since 2017 the reserve bank closely started monitoring and scrutinizing the yes bank and notice that the governance issues that there was definitely compliance and the culture itself of was of weak compliance and then there were also wrong asset classifications together with risky credit decisions since rbi started getting clear indication on all these grounds they clearly took some concrete steps which we have also been kept informed about and as you all know since 2004 when s bank was founded it has been under the same management from 2004 that after rbi scrutiny and identifying the culture of weak compliance poor governance and very risky credit issuing Uh, habits in september 2018 they clearly said that the leadership has to change they did not allow the further continuation of the chief executive term from after september 18 so these are specifically steps which the rbi has been taking with an intention of keeping the bank healthy and ensuring that where and as and when they found certain things they would do a correction course a new ceo was appointed in september 2018 as a result also the cleaning up of the bank commenced from then a lot more information start coming in and the reserve bank also started looking at newer issues newer challenges which were getting noticed as they started this scrutiny and the promoter who was asked to let go his shares had asked for more time rbi was not willing to give and as a result he had to be compelled to let go his shares too in the meanwhile also saw malpractices of some of their chairman and of that order people and that is why one of their top executives cbi came into picture and started taking action he even resigned maybe quoting some other reason but then he resigned clearly after the action was initiated and in march 2019 the new ceo who was 
appointed started intensively working together with RBI so that the health of the bank is restored. RBI did not stop at that. We were kept informed. A one crore of rupees fine was levied on this bank as early as March 2019. 2017, the intense scrutiny starts. 18, you clearly identify and don't allow the leadership to continue. 19, one crore of rupees was even levied as fine. And that is early 19, sometime March 2019. And then SEBI also starts the inv investigation from September 2019. And that allegation at that time, I don't know if there are many more which are getting added, but at that time it was on insider trading related matters. Then in May again, there was another set of fine imposed by Reserve Bank because of non-compliance related matters. And a former deputy governor of RBI was appointed onto the board of Yes Bank as a director. In June 19, again another set of fines were levied, saying, no, it is not happening, you don't seem to be having a good compliance culture, here we go, another fine. A chief financial officer was also newly appointed. And it was only in September 19 that you had a complete giving away of the shares. I mean, st stake was completely sold of the earlier promoter. All this while, there was also this promise being given, saying we are getting more money from here, we are getting new equity here, somebody coming from Hong Kong is giving us money. And uh, very genuinely, genuinely attempts were made to get new equity infusion done into the Genuinely, a lot of attempts were made, but nothing materialized. Period after period, the RBI was also informing us that they've given them more time so that they can get fresh equity, fresh infusion of cash, so that the bank's health can be restored. And every time you had to give them the, the space and margin, because after all, if there is a genuine attempt being done, let them get it, but it didn't happen at all. As a result, it went on like that. And once in November 19, it was very clear that no longer there was hope for them to get any more money. And coincidentally, the chairman of the audit committee also resigned early January 2020. Things came to a serious pass. And that is when I think we intensely engaged, as we were continuing the engagement, a lot of uh, other you know, ideas with which we were talking with the, RBI was talking with the management. I've asked the RBI now actually to go into assessing what actually has caused these difficulties for the Yes Bank. I've asked him to find out and assess as to where the problem, the cost set to problem lies. And also, clearly identify the role played by various individuals in the problem, in creating the problem and not so comprehensively addressing the problem. And I've also asked the RBI to tell me about adequacy of the extent regulatory norms, also the supervisory norms, and if found inadequate, where and why. I have asked them for a report on this. And I have also asked the RBI to act so that the due process of law takes it close with a sense of urgency. Whilst the, whilst the government, our government is completely committed to ensure that the depositors' interest is completely safeguarded, equally I want the RBI to ensure that due process of law is set to roll with a sense of urgency so that we should find out as to who led to this problem, a, a problem of this size and magnitude in the s pack. The steps, of course, which are taken by RBI as it is are several. I'll just narrate. Yesterday on their request, we've given the clearance for bringing a moratorium onto the bank, which is for the next 30 days. The withdrawal limit has been capped. 
supersession of the management, meaning the bank's board. Then an appointment of a administrator who happens to be a former chief finance officer of the State Bank of India. And then, even as we speak, they have put in a scheme for restructuring the bank. Already the RBI's website should be having it. And that scheme will be effected within the period of the moratorium, which means that within 30 days, we expect that scheme to fully come into play so that depositors are not troubled for too long. As it is, I understand they are putting through a rigorous pain uh, when a moratorium comes into play, but RBI has assured me that the restructuring plan which is up now in RBI's website will come into play within the moratorium period, within 30 days that is, so that customers are not, or depositors are not uh, going to be troubled. SBI has expressed a willingness to invest to definitely invest in the Yes Bank. And the bank shall also invest in the equity of the reconstruction process, which is required, the equity which is required for the reconstruction process. In the administrator's place, when the restructuring happens, a new board will be brought to place. So the administrator does his job and he exits and then a complete new board will be put in place. This is important. Deposits and liabilities will continue unaffected as before. I know there is this temporary capping, but we shall continue every deposit and the liability unaffected, which means it will be honored. Important again, employment and salary assured at least for one year. I've just given you some of the highlights of the scheme which the RBI has put up in its website. You're welcome to have a look at it. But if you very clearly look at the Yes Bank's problems. I would like to recollect the steps that I've been talking about. The bank was monitored very closely from 2017. The MD and CEO have been forced to leave as of September 18. RBI has appointed one of its former deputy governors onto the board of Yes Bank as a director. Then several enforcement actions have take, been taken up. One of the chairmen himself had to come out because of the action by CBI. Regulatory uh, violations, the guidelines have been violated, have been picked up, and fines have been levied. Uh, the bank was instructed to raise capital in a time-bound manner for which the RBI gave three tranches of time. Each time a genuine attempt was made to bring in more capital, but each time it failed. As a result, nothing could uh, go on. Particularly in the last six months, day-to-day -day monitoring has been kept up. I remember and I'm sure many of you all will recollect that I have repeatedly said I shall not allow any institution to fall off the cliff. I did remember, I do now remember that I had said this in the context of NBFCs, but we also have been closely monitoring banking institutions and shadow banking institutions. For the last six months, the monitoring has been almost on an everyday basis. I would like to tell you that. And one, one indication, not so much to speak of or not so much to take names, but it is important for the media to also know the exposure of Yes Bank to some of the very stressed corporates has been since before 2014 since before 2014. I wouldn't even mind taking their names because obviously these are public domain information. I'm not violating anybody, any customer's privacy. 
अनिल अंबानी ग्रुप एस एल ग्रुप डी एच एफ एल आई एल एंड एफ एस वोडाफोन सम ऑफ दोज वेरी स्ट्रेस्ड कॉपरेट टू होम एस बैंक हेज बीन एक्सपोज एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम प्रायर टू टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन now if i say all this why do i say it here i see the opposition being very keen to point a finger at us i'm not here to continue carrying the stories of legacy legacy yes the indian banking system has had severe challenges thanks to the way in which the government which existed between 2004 and 14 had handled the matters the way they handled it but i am not saying it because i have to put the blame on them but i have reasons to put the blame on them i'll give you even instances they are telling us about oh look at the way you've handled it yes bank is no bank you don't know how to handle it again the so called self appointed competent doctors are saying this and the so called self appointed competent doctors were the ones who handled united western bank do you all remember united western bank which collapsed in 2006 almost on the verge of collapse 2006 forcefully merged with idbi and today if i have problems restoring some good health of idbi i'm giving you a pointed example of how competent self appointed competent doctors had handled united western banks merger with idbi idbi went down united western bank was anyway challenged and that is the treatment offered by those who speak today about the way we've ensured that the interest of yes bank and its customers are kept safe we are doing that whereas what they did was this and their solution for a united western bank has resulted in idba also losing its moorings so self appointed competent doctors global trust bank when did that happen i'm sure you in the media will definitely remember july 2004 it was merged with oriental bank of commerce solution right easily merge it up and wash your hands off third ganesh bank of kurundwad this was merged with a private bank federal bank and when did this happen 2006 january and in all three let me ask you immediately merged and washed your hands off how many people did they take action on how many people did they bring to books to say these were the reasons for which these banks faced challenge and here are we having them quickly jump to see and say oh no no you don't know what you are doing you don't know how you are handling economic affairs we are ensuring the customers interests are intact we are ensuring that the depositors are uh, assured and their monies will be safe not like this impose and merge it off with some banks let go those offenders and now ask uncomfortable questions uncomfortable for yourselves i have no problem answering opposition's questions on our handling of the indian economy i'll answer every one of it but our approach has been to make sure that the institutions don't collapse keep them uh, with good health and above all keep the customers interest clients interest Businesses interest, depositors interest, say, and that is why you know, Prime Minister insisted that we increase the deposit insurance from one lakh to five lakh. So, I would like you all to kindly take all on the board. We can assure through you once again, all the depositors that their money is safe. We shall ensure that very speedily this will be resolved. and a restructuring of this bank will happen in the interest of the depositors and the interest of the economy thank you
Ma'am, my question is, uh, as you said, uh, now you've asked RBI to give a detailed report on uh, what actually led to this wrongdoing. Apart from RBI, uh, other investigative agencies are also going to look into the matter, whether there is any case of money laundering, uh, etc., because there have been complaints. What is the action that you'll be taking on the governance issues, because you said corporate governance was not to the best of uh, the mark that could, should have been, whether MCA, whether SFIO or ED or any other such agency will be looking after the then management? What well, the, the SEBI has already started acting. So they will, as a regulator of the markets, they will also be looking into it. As we go on, we'll be able to speak about it. But today, I'm talking about the restructuring plan which the RBI is taking up, and we are constantly monitoring it closely. Ma'am, the State Bank of India... Just, 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 just
clearly these are answers which are being given. I am giving the answer. RBI is giving the answer. We are not evading it. You may ask me any number of times the questions which are being posed today and questions which may be posed even later. We are willing to answer. Okay? But I have raised questions of how unthinkingly the steps taken by those competent, self-propelled, competent doctors have resulted in the economy till today suffering. Banking sector becoming fragile is thanks to those so-called self-appointed competent doctors. One. Second on the SBI. As I said, I've answered that question. As we go along, you'll know as to who are the people who are investing. Just, just, just. RBI will give you further clarification on all that they have done. Ma'am, it's indeed a relief that the government and RBI has uh, said time and again today that the depositors' interest will be taken care of. But uh, what we are getting to know uh, is that uh, the net banking is uh, not working for the last since last night. Uh, payments are not happening even through uh, app. Uh, the debit cards are also not working and all those, I mean some of those who have gone to the branches with checks have been given tokens and have been asked to come tomorrow. So uh, indeed uh, there are problems being faced by people. By when do you think that uh, these teething issues will get? I have acknowledged that there is definitely pain being suffered by the depositors. I have acknowledged it. And I appreciate and recognize the fact that you're going into the details of that pain. I acknowledge it. Ma'am, I just to ma'am and the You know, the SBI has said that there will be. You have said that they have been convinced interest. How much are they going to put in in terms of money? And do you feel that this one bank will be able to bail it out, or is there going to be a consortium and look what exactly are those details? Because that's that's. No, no, you may get the clarity, but that's exactly what Sumesh also asked, and I've responded. As we go along, you will get more and more details. I've said also investors in the bank and the businesses. That's right. Those details will come along. The moratorium which was issued by the RBI said for 30 days. The moratorium for 30 days. We'll get to know. Thank you. Thanks. Which draft scheme? Uh, oh, that's all right. Last two I've asked the Risa Bank to give me an assessment from their end because they are the regulator. I want them to give me specifically a report on what has caused this problem and who are the people who they think had a role in it. That is why I very clearly said that's also something which I've asked the RBI to give. Last one, very speak. No, that's exactly what you also have asked me. I can say that I am closely monitoring and my objective, which I have expressed in so many different press conferences, is to ensure that regulators, whether it's SEBI, whether it's RISA Bank, and the government are all working together to ensure that stress, whether NBFC, whether banks, whether any other institution, are recognized and addressed 
so we are willing to work with those institutions which are stressed out with an intention that we provide as much as time and space for them to restore their health and in this case of yes bank 2 as i said from 17 2017 through the reserve bank continuous engagement and i must uh, put on record that they did attempt genuinely to get more more capital coming into the bank they did attempt and therefore this kind of a closely monitoring along with the regulators be it rbi be it cb be it anybody else irda i shall be monitoring with an intent of ensuring that institution stress is relieved i told you that i have answered that question ma'am you get to know as we go over to the left hand back thank you very much uh, coming over in this sudden unexpected rains uh, i have uh, come here to explain a few things regarding the yes bank matter uh, some of the issue taaja khabron ke liye subscribe ke sath bell icon ko dabaiye aur bhi sara time ki sari notification paiye